All right, here's the video. Just wanted to update you on the Micron. I was just looking at this thing, and I was seeing how we gapped up. We moved up higher, taking note that uh, we have earnings out after the close. And I was just discussing on the radio how how um, how you know the last quarter they came out saying they're gonna you know have bad earnings and all all this bad news was in the stock and stuff and it's it sold off and stuff and now people are saying well no matter what they come out with now and say people are basically going to say that bottom's in on this stock because I mean you can only say you have so much bad news so much you know so much of the time until finally you got to do something you got to shit or get off the pot so. I think no matter what they say that this market, this uh, this stock is going to head up unless there's some kind of devastating news about the company and running out of money or going bankrupt or something like that. But this is a big company, a juggernaut. And as I'm speaking, I'm watching Apple go ballistic here. It's running right up past 157.09. Uh, I'm not going to bring that one in. Well, I'll bring it over into the chart here. But I want to talk mostly about Micron here. But look at this. Look what the hell is happening with uh, with Apple here. Just sh shooting off with some volume right up here. 157, 156, 157. It's heading up right. It's going out fast. What's going on here? Anyway, um, get back to. Um, let's get back to Micron here. So we pulled back, and I was just saying if you want to play that play of be this being the bottom of the stock, and any news that comes out is going to be bought up anyway, this would be the place to get in. Because what do we do right now? We just we just uh, we just came back and filled the gap that we 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 gapped up in, and that's a great place to get in. So if you're going to get in on Micron, this is the place to do it. Any anywhere around this level, I I am predicting a run towards the highs of the day before the close, and I think people are going to get in on this one. All right, uh, what do I, what am I holding? I have MU. I have 300 shares of MU. 300 shares, right there. Uh, so 11:39. All right. So we're gonna see what happens. I'm not gonna buy any more. I don't think, unless unless I uh, have a tremendously good day and I can just buy another hundred shares. But I want to get this out to you so you could, uh, could you could act on it if you want to act on that. I like it here. I like it here a lot.